Hi, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time reselling mum in Australia. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I photograph shoes to sell on eBay to make money. So as you can see behind me, I've actually got a lot of pairs of shoes that need to be photographed in order to get them listed on eBay. I like to do all my tasks in batches. So these shoes have already all been cleaned beforehand and prepped, ready to go for photographing. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you get everything out and ready to go. The last thing that you want to happen is to be in a rhythm and in a workflow and then realize that you don't have a tool or something that you need while you're photographing. So get everything out ready to go. These are the shoes that I've got ready to photograph. Any shoes that were dirty here have already been cleaned. There's a few that might have price stickers on them, but otherwise they're ready to go. Over here I've got my two buckets. One of them has got my little tub of pool noodles, measuring tape, defluffer, and I use the pool noodles for stuffing inside the shoes to make them look nicer in the photos. I also always have my little box of cleaning supplies. Even though the shoes have been cleaned, I've still got the cleaning supplies handy in case I spot something I missed. Now you don't need any fancy tools for photographing shoes at home. I simply use a little coffee table and a piece of white core flute. If you don't know what core flute is, I will link down the bottom because I've done a video in the past that tells you exactly what it is and where you can buy it from. Now I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark III and a 35mm lens, but you don't need anything this fancy. You can shoot with a camera phone and it's going to be perfectly good enough for eBay photos. After I finish photographing the shoes, I put them into these large storage Ziploc bags and then they go into the tubs, which then go into the garage until they sell. Now, depending on your lighting situation in your house will depend whether or not you're going to need an external light source. So in my old house, I strictly use natural light. However, in my new house, it's a little bit darker and I do need a little bit of infill light. So I have this simple ring light that I can move around and put to the side while I'm photographing. I bought my ring light for really cheap just off eBay. Now I like to photograph at eye level because angles are really important when taking photos. Now this is why I use a low table when I'm photographing shoes because I like to get down and close so that I can fill the frame with the item. It's really important to fill the frame as much as possible to make sure you've got no dead wasted space. You want your item to stand out as much as possible in your eBay listing. Now your workflow will be more productive if you shoot using a system. So I always make sure I photograph shoes pointing in the same direction. Remember consistency forms habits and habits increase productivity. Now my main photo for shoes is always the single shot and if you notice looking at all my photos here you will see they're very consistent, all the photos are taken in the same direction, the photos are filling the frame and my photos are nice and clear against the white drop. By photographing my shoes in the same order for every single pair it puts me into a state of flow and it makes me much more productive. Now the next shot I take is the two shoes together. Once again, you will notice that every single pair of shoes is taken in the same position. If I ever have a listing on eBay that goes stale or a particular pair of shoes takes longer to sell than I would like, sometimes I just flick around the photos inside the gallery and I'll make this second photo the main photo instead, just to see if it can give some new life to the listing.
So this is where your pool noodle is going to come and help you. If you stuff these shoes with the pool noodles, it's just going to fill them out and make them look more appealing in the photos. And the more appealing your photos are, the better chance you're going to have of selling them. to drink okay so they're all done all the shoes have been photographed now it was a massive effort because I did have a huge amount of shoes there today to work with I don't normally let it build up to that many shoes but it had got that far and that's what I've got so the next thing for me to do is to list these shoes on eBay so stay with me because part four of this shoe series is me going to show you exactly how I list on eBay to make money selling these secondhand shoes. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment if you've got any questions. I love to hear your comments and your feedback. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button to learn more about selling on eBay and all my tips and tricks.